We are in a crisis, a metabolic crisis, and the data are not as firm when it comes to women, but it seems like women may be at greater risk. And if we actually talk about metabolic dysregulation, um, what does that look like throughout a woman's lifespan? And what you know, what would what should be we what should we be cognizant of as we go from our 20s to our 30s to our 40s in terms of metabolic dysregulation? There was a study at the University of North Carolina showing that 88% of Americans are metabolically unhealthy, that they have at least one criteria for metabolic syndrome. So we are in a crisis, a metabolic crisis, and the data are not as firm when it comes to women, but it seems like women may be at mm -hmm. greater risk. So I think what's, what's key is to not outsource your metabolic health to your clinician, to really to understand that in your 20s and 30s and 40s and as you get older, that you have to take this on. You have to eat the right foods that are the right fit for you, mostly vegetables, um, a little less of the processed food and the other things that we know can cause so much dysregulation. Not, um, I'm not a big fan of breakfast, lunch, and dinner and snacks in between. I think you need periods of metabolic rest. Intermittent fasting is something that 95% of us can do. Combining that with having the kind of movement in your life, the kind of exercise, lifting heavy, I think is essential. So really figuring out how does that become a priority? Because 99% of the time with your health, it's not spent in the doctor's office. Like a tiny little fraction is in the doctor's office. Mm -hmm. So take it on yourself and realize what's gonna work for you as you get older.